I'm Hannah. And I'm Shay. And we're Dinner National. Today we're going to be exploring food from Vietnam. When people say Vietnamese food, the fur comes to my mind. Or banh mi. But today we decided to do something different. Let's try out some Vietnamese bun cha. And I'm going to try Vietnamese spring rolls with shrimp. Let's get started. So I've never been to Vietnam or even ever tried this recipe before. I watched a couple of recipe videos on YouTube and read a couple of uh, articles and blogs. So from what it looks like, two kinds of meat are used in a typical bowl of bun cha. So there's a uh, little smushed meatballs like pork patties. And the second thing is like a fattier cut of pork, like um, pork belly or pork shoulder, which is typically grilled over a charcoal fire. We don't have one of those, so we're just going to do it on a panini press. So let's get started with the marinade. So for the marinade, most recipes call for shallots, but I don't have them. So I just use about half of a red onion. I have six cloves of garlic a quarter cup of fish sauce. This is a tablespoon of sugar and I just put some black pepper in it, about a teaspoon worth. And this is dark soy sauce. So like most great recipes, this one's pretty easy too. So I essentially made the same kind of marinade for both the kinds of meat. So I'll just give this a quick mix and split this marinade in half, pour half on the ground pork and half on the pork belly. So what I have here is thinly sliced strips of pork belly. I just sliced it myself into about half a centimeter length. And this is about uh, one pound of ground pork. And I actually snuck in a little bit of odds and ends of pork belly in there for some extra fat. This is like just, I just had it lying around so I just put it in there. So I'm going to pour half of this marinade on our pork belly and the other half to our ground pork. So it is best if you can marinate this overnight, but I, I don't have that kind of time. So I'm just gonna do it for about two hours. See you in two hours. Right, so while the meat is marinating, we're going to cook the innards of our spring rolls. So that's gonna be shrimp, carrots, cabbage, garlic, all of those things. And um, then we get to the hard part, which is wrapping. So let's go. So I've heated some vegetable oil in a skillet and I'm just gonna add about one clove of garlic and um, two teaspoons of grated ginger. Just gonna stir it around, wait for it to get aromatic. That'll take about 30 seconds, but your nose will tell you. So the next thing we're gonna add is some cabbage. I put about a quarter of a head of cabbage because I got the biggest head of cabbage, so uh, I didn't need that much. And we're going to wait till this gets a little wilty. It should take a minute or so. And I'm going to add uh, one carrot that's been grated finely. So beautiful. And mix them all together so they're kind of soft and look like the mixture of a spring roll. So while you weren't looking, I added about a teaspoon of salt and then some freshly ground black pepper. I'm gonna add in some scallions, mix them in there, and a little bit of soy sauce. And these are still softening up a bit. So this recipe calls for mirin, but we don't have any, so we're just going to stick with the soy sauce and hope that works. I'll let you know. So it's been about a minute or two. The cabbage is looking nice and soft. I'm gonna add about seven ounces of chopped raw shrimp that's been deveined. Stick that in there. I think that this is more shrimp than I need technically, but we want a real shrimpy spring roll, so nothing wrong with that. So I'll stir this around, and then in a second, I'm gonna take this off the heat. Let's let the shrimp get a little bit pink first. So I'm just gonna switch this off and take it off the burner. And I'm gonna drizzle some toasted sesame oil over the top and set this aside and let it cool down a little bit before we stuff them into the wrappers. Okay, so our filling has cooled off. We're gonna use about a tablespoon of filling um, and put place it near the bottom of the wrapper. The point of the wrapper should be facing you so that you can make a little 
uh, tight roll out of this. This might be more than a tablespoon, um, but don't make it too big or it'll be really hard to roll up. So pull up that bottom corner and tightly roll it. And once you get to this point, you're going to bring up the sides and use a little of this egg wash to make a glue and seal the top corner. And then set it aside with the seam facing down until you're ready to fry. We're gonna get started on the nook chong, which is kind of the sauce that's accompanying the meat. Um, we're just gonna mix it all together. You don't have to really cook it or anything. It's really spicy and tangy and delicious. So this is a little over half a cup of fish sauce. It smells very fishy and delicious, kind of. Here's um, a little over half a cup of sugar. I know it's a lot of sugar, but it's what it needs. Here's some water, almost a cup. And this is 10 uh, cloves of garlic diced up. Ooh. If you don't like garlic, uh, probably just stay away from this dish in general because everything we used has garlic in it. Everything we made. Uh, here's some Thai red chilies, three of them. It's gonna be real spicy. If you don't like spice, I don't know what, what you're gonna do. This is some white vinegar. It called for a uh, white wine vinegar and we didn't have it, so this is just plain. And the last but not least, half a cup of lime juice freshly squeezed. So you can imagine it's gonna be really tangy and nice. Um, and our meat will be floating in that and it'll be served with some fresh herbs on the side, which I'll show you later. All right, so our meat has been marinating for the past two hours. I made a couple of little patties. I figured I'll just show you one. So I'm just making like a little golf ball size patty. Say about, you know, just one little handful. What I'm doing over here is just kind of squishing it, making it into a little, little meatball. And just smooshing it flat with my hands, shaping it like a patty. Simple, simple. We've been doing this since kindergarten, no? So on the side, as you can remember, we have got this pork belly sitting here. So essentially what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna sear both of these real quick. I've got a little bit of vegetable oil over here, just pouring a little bit down. So traditionally, uh, this is obviously done on like a charcoal grill, but then I don't have one of those. So I'm just using my panini press. So I'm just gonna sear these patties. I just put the rest of these pork belly slices on the other side and let it cook in the meantime. So I'm just gonna flip this patty a little bit to give it a little look -see. Oh, it's really nice and brown. The sugar in the marinade really helps it to brown. I'm just using my hands, kids, but don't try this at home. It's really hot. All right, so I have seared both sides of the meat and I'm allowing it to rest for like about five minutes. And while these are resting, I'll have Hannah fry the spring rolls. All right, so the oil's hot. It's at 350 degrees, and we are going to get these spring rolls in there. It's gonna sizzle. Ooh. Okay, so steer clear. We did kind of a shallow fry, not necessarily deep fry, because these aren't very big, and it shouldn't take too long for them to get done. See, this one's already getting pretty hard and crispy. Let's eat. So we're no experts on any of this. So we're just gonna follow what we saw in some of the videos and give it a shot. So this is our rice noodle. We just used a package. We did not make our own. Essentially, we just soaked it in hot water. We're gonna put like a couple slices of the pork belly that we cut into bite-sized pieces. I'm just gonna do like about four slices. And I'm gonna put these patties in there as well. Just start with two. We can always have some more. And I'm gonna scoop this nok cham liberally. 
over all of that. Over the meat, over the patties, over the noodles. This is gonna be awesome. I'm so looking forward to eating this. So ideally, this would be served with Vietnamese vegetables and herbs. We don't have any Vietnamese vegetables and herbs. So this is just some cabbage leaves. I'm just gonna tuck some in there. Okay, let's go in for a bite. Mm. Almost forgot these delicious egg rolls. Mmm. So crispy. Man, this is delicious. Holy moly, this meat is delicious. Yeah. I can see why people like this so much. This is like very flavorful, jam packed. I've never had it before. So this is a first time for me and mm -hmm. it is definitely something you have to try. Wow, these herbs make it so good. Mmm. And you'd think that the, um, what is it? Nook chum? Nook chum. Would be overwhelming. Uh, it's not at all. Like a little too tangy maybe, but it's not. It's great. All right, guys. Come back later. Bye-bye.